Logitech MX Master 3S. Is it really the best mouse you can purchase? Let's see why everyone talks about it and if it's really worth the money. So what are the key features that makes this mouse different from competitors? The first thing I can't overlook is the ergonomics. In fact, in the previous years, I have tested other mice, especially my previous one was the Apple Magic mouse, which was a mouse that I loved and hated because as always, Apple, in order to promote their own products, leave some features that are dedicated only to them. For example, I have never found another third party mouse that has the magic mouse gestures. Not only because the scrolling smoothness that you can experience with an Apple magic mouse isn't available anywhere. Yes, I know that these are little details, but this was why I have previously opted for this mouse. The more I use it, the more I appreciate it, and the biggest problem, the ergonomics, was something I couldn't keep going on with. Especially if you spend lots of time in front of your monitor, I think it's essential to stay firstly comfortable with all your tools. That's why I've purchased this Logitech mouse, and that's one of the best decisions I have made. All of us know how Logitech works, and I think here they made an amazing work in designing this product. It fits your hand perfectly, in fact uh, every curve, uh, every shape, every button is just designed to fit perfectly your hand without nearly moving it. You find everything just in the right place and for a mouse I think that's one of the best features you can find. I personally use this mouse in Bluetooth mode connected to my MacBook and I have never experienced any input lag or other issues. Of course you shouldn't use it for activities like gaming because it's just not designed as a gaming mouse. Instead it's crafted for individuals aiming to enhance their productivity. Using it as a wireless mouse I can assure you that you will forget about the battery. I typically charge it once a month or even less but one thing that I have really appreciated especially coming from the Apple Magic Mouse is the possibility to charge it while using it, that is a pretty logical approach, right Apple? Apart from the jokes, navigating and scrolling through pages with this mouse is a pleasure. Let's say that in the end, by using the main wheel and the side wheel, we can practically do everything. With the magic mouse I could actually move in all directions, having an integrated trackpad, but with this solution in the end I don't miss it at all. Oh and just to mention, this mouse is silent. I personally dislike that sound that it's repeated every time and that's something that I really notice in every mouse. Next up, let's talk about the main feature for which I love this mouse, that is the possibility to customize all the buttons and basically customizing all the experience on your needs and on the software and tools that you use every day. Thanks to LogiOption Plus, the software that Logitech offers, I have built my personal system through which I am able to work efficiently without losing time and optimizing the macOS experience as much as I can. For example, the first thing that I think you should absolutely do is to customize these two side buttons to scroll between macOS desktops because it really helps with the general experience. This way I have finally found a super easy and fast system to navigate between different desktops directly from the mouse without using keyboard shortcuts. If you are a Mac user you know that the macOS experience is based on desktops so finding a way to switch easily and fast between them I think it's necessary. But there's more. At the bottom of the mouse, where the thumb rests, there's another button that opens up the possibility for four more actions. In fact, by holding down this button and moving the mouse in one of the four directions, up, down, right or left, you can activate additional shortcuts. Listening to a lot of music for both enjoyment and while working to stay focused, I've set up these gestures to adjust the volume and switch between songs. Yes, I know that you can do it also with the keys using your keyboard, but I think that there are some situations, such as, for example, browsing pages or reading some texts online, when we have only our hand on the mouse and it's just more convenient to set up these gestures. Just to have everything, Logitech, in addition to allowing us to customize all the buttons, 
also allows us to do it based on the context we are in. I mean, if you are using Google Chrome or Safari, we might prefer to use the scroll wheel to quickly switch between tabs. If instead we are using Photoshop, for example, we might be interested in using the scroll wheel to enlarge the size of a brush or activate some other tool quickly. So through the Logitech software, we can basically customize all the experience based on our apps. And I think this is one of the best reasons to purchase this mouse because it really makes the difference. And finally, there's another thing that I don't personally use it very much, but I think that can be a really game changer for lots of you. This mouse can be used with up to three devices simultaneously. You can switch between the three devices by simply pressing the button under the mouse. For example, if you use two laptops or a tablet or iPad nearby, with the same mouse, you can easily move between the devices without having to manually disconnect and reconnect the mouse every time. Once you have configured the mouse with the various devices, you can do it automatically, practically with ease. So, as always, I want to answer some of the questions I have received. So the first comment is, I was always interested in white MX Master 3S, but heard a lot of discoloring on the mouse rather rapidly and unable to clean it. What's your experience on this one? So, first of all, I want to say that I have bought this mouse on Amazon Warehouse, so this is actually something used by a previous user. In my experience, I can tell you that I try to treat all my devices quite well, and anyway, I haven't noticed any kind of discoloration in these months. Certainly, the white color is the most prone to scratches, but in the end, if you keep the mouse mainly on the desk and don't carry it around too much, perhaps in a bag with other accessories, I would say you won't have any problems from this point of view. So, the second question is, do you have the reverse scrolling problem with this mouse? To be completely honest with you, I have never heard about this problem, so I have made a little research on the internet and I have found on a Reddit forum that some users have this problem, so I will leave you the link in the description if you have some kind of issues like this. So these were my thoughts of this mouse. I have actually used it for a month and I have tried also the MX Master 2 before upgrading to the following version. Let me know in the comments your opinion, your experience, uh, if you have already purchased it or you are thinking to make the upgrade. And as always, wishing you the best. See you soon.